How's it going guys, my name is and welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. So last time, we built a whole load of stuff using bearings and controllers to make foldy, automated things. So we made a folding house, which is over there. It's currently unfolded and it, I've managed to unbreak it. It was broken, but I've, I've made it good again. Uh, we also made the lifty automated car parking space garage thing, which is right here. Uh, so yeah, so since then, you guys have suggested a load of different stuff for me to try. It's mainly vehicle related, so this, this episode is going to be mainly vehicles, but there's a few other things. So, I've made some of the stuff, or I've tried to make some of the stuff since last time. So I've got some of it working already. So one of the things you guys suggested was having an automated staircase. You'll notice this thing here doesn't look too much like a staircase, but when I press this button... Oh, oh they're meant to go in order, but it's, it's really hard to get it to work. But anyway, the stairs come down. And then you can walk on up. You'll notice I'm getting like zero frames per second. This thing is super laggy. I think basically because there's so many bearings, the game doesn't like that. So yeah, automated staircase thing comes down. Actually, when you put it up again, then they all go in the right order. I'll show you if I just jump down here. Oh my God, it's so laggy. Anyway, when I press this, they should go in order. Oh, that's much better. It doesn't do it coming back for some reason, but whatever. Anyway. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I'm going to demolish this now because it's completely destroying my frame rate. So just before I take this thing down, if you guys are wondering how it works, obviously every single step has its own little bearing. And it's a bearing, then a block of wood, and then this thing is literally called a staircase step. So it's one of these for every single step. They're on alternating sides, and each controller can only take 10 bearings. So it takes four controllers because there's like... There's like 36 steps or something silly like that. But anyway, that's how it works. They all just rotate by 90 in order. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm going to break it. I just discovered one thing, because some of these blocks are loose because they're attached to bearings. But if you drop things from high enough, they can actually smash. Look, if I get rid of all of this, some of the blocks fall down. And look, some of them smashed into the floor. That's kind of useful. Wait, what the hell? Okay, it turns out they didn't smash. They just teleported to another dimension and then came back again. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's all gone. The game is slightly less sad now. It's still it's still not optimized too well. Oh, don't run into that. So uh, next thing. Next thing we have to try. Obviously, last time we built the folding house. Uh, you guys asked if there was a way to make the folding house mobile. So I've made the folding house car. <laughs> Basically, you press this button. You'll notice there's a, a seat attached to the front door. So that closes very slowly. It should all fold up kind of awkwardly. But it's okay, it's okay. It'll fold up like the other folding house, and then you should be able to drive it. Oh, look at that fancy folding so it doesn't hit the wheels. Okay, ignore that bit. It's not meant to bend like that, but it's okay. So, this all folds up. Wait, I'll see if I get on it now. Oh, it's fine. And you can see back there, there's an engine, which I think is turned on. Yeah. And you can drive your folding house around the place. So, if, if this game had, like, workbenches and crafting tables and stuff, if there was, like, a survival mode, it'd be kind of cool to have a sort of, like, mobile laboratory workshop thing. It's not very speedy, but then again, it is a giant block of wood, so I didn't want it to go too fast because it would probably just crash. I think, <laughs> once I can turn this thing around, we'll drive it over here, and I'll show you guys the next thing. So a couple of you guys asked if I could make some kind of flying space rocket thing. So this very basic space rocket, it only goes upwards. It only goes up. There's no way to steer it because I was making this in kind of a hurry. But yeah, if you want to fly to the top of the map, you use this thing. There is actually a ceiling. You'll notice in a second. Any moment now, we'll just slam into the roof. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can see my elastic guy went crazy. Yeah, there's a ceiling. So yeah, if you ever want to slam into the top of the map, here's how you do it. You see, look at the guy's face. He does this when you drive any vehicle. He just screams his ass off. It's not that bad. You'll be fine. Your body's made of rubber. You can't, you can't even get injured. It's ridiculous. Anyway. That, oh, it's not even coming back. Oh, don't add another thing. Oh, oh, it's fine. It's okay. Let's just leave that there. So there's one other thing which you guys asked for, which I've tried to make since last time. You asked for basically like a truck, a truck which I could load other cars into the back of, like a car. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, I made one of them. It's not great. It's right here, as you can see. It's currently in the down position. I'll show you what happens when you like try and load the back up. It's kind of cool. So you can see, I made it with this ramp so you can actually drive into it. It's still really tricky to actually get into it. And it's got these little leg things, because obviously the wheels are not holding it up. So when you push the button, the ramp goes up, all good like this, and then the wheels should come down. Yeah, the wheels come down. And then once the wheels are on the floor, the little supports go up. Kind of cool, kind of cool. And then it's ready to drive. You can see, 
It doesn't have any suspension, but basically it's so heavy that if I put suspension, the suspension just gets like crushed and then it's like sitting on the floor and you can't drive it. So I had to do it without any suspension. But anyway, if we put the ramp down again, we can, in theory, drive a thin car into the back of this. Okay, while that's folding up, I can get one of my two test cars. I think this one may be slightly too thick. We'll leave that for now. This one is slightly thinner. It's, it's not a very good car, but it is thin. So let's drive this round to the back, see if we can get it in the trunk. Oh, it's kind of speedy. I might actually turn the power down before we try and do this, because otherwise we're just going to jump over the truck. Okay, so we want to line this up nice and gently. There we go. That looks good. And now, very slowly, we want to get straight on to the ramps. Come on. Okay, now full power. Full power. Yes! You can do it! Little car! Come on. Come on. Yeah! Oh! Oh, it's in! I, I haven't actually managed to do it before because it kept getting stuck and all like flying off the side. But anyway, that's in there. This is going to go really badly. Let's put the back up and then we can try and drive our little car around. Oh, this can go so badly. Okay, the supports are up. I believe the engine's on. Oh yeah, it's on. It's on about half power. That's fine. So let's get in here. You can see I made this little like truck cabin at the front. It's kind of cute. Keeps him shaded from the sun on a long drive, that kind of thing. So now, hopefully... Oh, oh, the thing back there doesn't actually move around too much. Oh, that's pretty good. It works really well, actually. Oh, this is this is much better than expected. I can't... Oh, oh no. Oh, this is not good. Go backwards. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. It's stuck. Well, anyway, it's not the best thing in the world. I want to make a slightly better version of that. I want to make it like a better car as well. So I made that car because you guys wanted me to make a race car. It's not great. You can see over there, there's a slightly better one. So I made this thing. It hasn't got a petrol engine. It has, in fact, got jet engines. So it's a little bit faster. But actually, it's surprisingly good at driving. Uh, it's quite it's quite well balanced, let's say. So yeah, there is actually a road in this map, which sort of goes around this hill. Actually, no, it's kind of big. It's like a figure of eight shape. But anyway, let's see how good this thing is. Try, ooh, ooh. Okay, it's not great. Let's see how good this thing is at driving around this track. Uh, uh. Okay, if you're gentle with the throttle, it's actually pretty... Good. You can see I haven't used any of the suspension uh, blocks for this car, mainly because the suspension in this game is quite bad. It's not its not like how suspension is in real life, and it's definitely not like how suspension is on a race car in real life. Uh, the suspension in this game is far too bouncy, and uh, it just it acts weirdly. So yeah, I'd, putting, putting suspension on a car like this would make it basically impossible to drive. But for science, let's do it anyway. Okay, so I'm hoping if I stick a suspension in here and then get rid of this block. Oh, it's not attached. God damn. Okay, let's just get it on both sides, just like this. I don't know why. I put the front wheel slightly back, like, from where the steering is. It actually makes it handle slightly better, in my opinion, anyway. So let's just connect. Actually, it's still connected. Oh, it should be good. Okay, drop it down. Let's get in. Let's see what this is like with a bit of front suspension. No, oh, actually, it's not too bad. It's still... It was bouncy before. It's still bouncy now. Yeah. Yeah, basically in this game, because everything is so not flat, like all the all the floor is so bumpy. There is, uh, you can go into like a flat world map and build stuff there, but that's boring. Why should you do that? So yeah, you guys asked for a track car. I think this is pretty good. So now, I'm going to try and make another, um, what would you call it? Another car transport truck, which can hopefully fit this thing in. So I'm going to do a sort of like a building montage type thing once I get back over there. Hopefully, you guys enjoy! Oh, crap. Okay, so we've got our truck bed thing. It's pretty massive, so it's going to take quite a lot to be able to pull it forwards. We just need to add the wheels to this side, because I had to make it slightly wider. So I had to take the wheels off. I'm going for three wheels each side, just for stability, I guess. Okay, so wheels on. Now we need a way to actually lift the, uh, the tail bit. So we need a controller, because there's a bearing. There. Oh wait, let's get the right one. This bearing here needs to connect to that controller. Then we need a switch. Switch can go just there and then connect this T 
to that, so basically, you want this thing to start upright. Oh, I should have built it upright. I went against my own rule from last anyway. We want it to start at a pink plus 90. One thing I realized, um, these, these things here, I thought when you set it to say go to plus 90, I thought it meant go to that position, as in go to rotate plus 90, but it actually means move by that much. So if you have plus 90 here, and then another plus 90, it will actually rotate by 180 degrees. I thought it would go to like 90 degrees around it and then stop, but actually no, they're like, it means adding on 90 degrees. So be careful when you're building stuff. I made a fatal mistake with that when I was building the stairs. Anyway, we want them to start upwards, but then we want them to come down by just over 90 degrees, probably 100 degrees. Oh, let's actually turn that on. Uh, wait, oh yeah, okay. So it starts in the upright position, then when we press this button, it goes down. Oh, that's, that's okay. It should be fine. This thing's so heavy, I get the feeling that when you drive into this ramp, it's not gonna, like, push it forward. So it should be, let's actually check. Can we get this thing in there? Come on, turn, turn, turn more. Oh, I think it's good. Okay, now, oh, that's dead center. It's dead center. Look at that. Just want to very gently just burst the engines. Oh, it's pushing it a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yes. That works. Pretty. Pretty good. Nice. And then we should be able to press this button and lift the thing on the back. I'm just warning you, the game may crash when I press this button. Oh, that worked pretty well. Okay, now we just need to build the front bit where we drive it. Okay, it doesn't look too great, but... It should work. The thing at the front looks really weird, I know. It's kind of like too short and too tall, but eh, whatever. It should work. We now need to connect everything up. So we need to connect this to uh, these bearings for the steering. You'll see I didn't use any suspension again because you guys told me that a uh, suspension can make the game crash. So I'm, I'm going to use it as little as possible. Uh, we connect that to that for the steering. Connect this to make it go. And then we're just going to have front wheel drive just from these four wheels on the front thing. It would be cool to be able to make it where this thing can detach. Uh, I guess we could have done that, but just for now, we're not going to do that. You can see in the middle, I've got this thing here, which means that when the front bit turns, the uh, the back bit won't turn immediately, which will, should make it slightly easier to hand around corners. It won't be so, like, clunky. So, yeah, this should drive actually quite nicely. Let's get it all turned on. Let's load the thing into the back, and then let's see how it handles. Oh, I really hope this works. I just get the feeling, because the frame rate's getting worse and worse, I just get the feeling it's going to crash as soon as we try and drive it. But anyway, let's put this in here. Oh, it's a bumpy ride trying to get in there. It would be very hard to screw that up and get stuck anyway. That's in there. We just need to close the back up. Nice and gently. All good. Oh, I really hope this works. I turn the engine on. So now, in theory, we can go... Oh! Oh my god, it worked! This thing looks like a tractor. It's a tractor pulling a sports car, and the steering is reversed. That's annoying, but it does work. Okay, it fixed the steering so it actually turns the way I tell it to now. Uh, I, I'm kind of getting the feeling that using this, like, linkage thing, it's not the best idea. It's fine in a straight line, but when I start to turn, it just gets all, like, caught up together. It's not great. But anyway, this thing actually works pretty well. It's not good where it's bumpy, as you can see right now. Oh god! But, if we can get over to a nice flat bit, it works pretty well. It would be kind of cool, actually, if I could save individual vehicles, and then I could, like, just, like, plonk them down in the flat world to test this thing out properly, because at the moment I have to build it again. But, that's kind of cool. It's working kind of well. So, hopefully today, I've managed to create some, some of the things you guys have asked for. Uh, I've still got a couple things, a couple works in progress. You may have seen by the house... There was that big, like, uh, black and yellow thing. That was a monorail. Uh, that was extremely hard to get working. It's still not working properly. So, if you guys have any more suggestions of things you'd like me to make in this game, this thing handles really weird. If you guys have any more suggestions, let me know down below. But until then, I've been Vader. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see... Wait, actually, actually, no. Before we end, I want to see what happens when I put this thing on the automated parking space. This is... A terrible idea, a very bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway, okay. The back bit is actually too wide, but the front bit can get on at least. Let's just drive straight through here. Oh god, oh my god. Oh, it's gonna get stuck. Oh no. Oh, this was stupid. This was extremely stupid. Just wiggle. Wiggle them wheels, get it unstuck. That is pretty well stuck in there. Let's just see, if I stand here, it'll still lift up. Let's see what happens. Oh. Okay, yeah, this was about- why did I think- why did I think I should try this? This is a terrible idea!
Oh god, it's properly stuck as well. It is properly stuck up there. This is uh this is this is bad. This is let's let's just let's just end the video there. So this has been Scrap Mechanic. Hope you guys enjoyed this. As I said, if you guys got any more ideas, let me know down below. I will try them next time if you guys would like. But until then, I've been better. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Oh,